Welcome back to Blazers Inside Access. We're hitting, sitting down with Coach Blaine McCorkle of the Blazers football team. Coach, thanks for joining us. You bet. Thanks for having me. The Blazers were in Belton, Texas this weekend. They were taking on the number one team in the country, Mary Harden Baylor. They would fall 23 to 13. Mary Harden Baylor got off to an early lead, a couple of first quarter touchdowns. Bellhaven would hit back though uh, with a big drive set up by a nice throw and catch to Lewis James who set the Blazers up on the one yard line. Let's take a look at that clip real quick. Coaches, walk us through. Yeah, uh, had pretty decent protection. Hunter got flushed out of the pocket. Really proud of Hunter here as we kind of scout him out. He really has a tendency to escape to the right. So good situational self-awareness on his behalf to roll out to the left. And Lewis did a good job recognizing the scramble. We work our sc scramble drill a lot. Lewis knew right where to go and, and Hunter hit him pretty good there. Hope Lewis could have stayed in bounds and finished it off, but uh, put us in position to score there on the very next play. Yeah, he would step out of bounds on the one yard line, but it set up a touchdown run right here. Kobe Blunt from one yard out. Coach, let's go ahead and just digest this play right here. Touchdown. Yeah, just run the toss there to the field. Great to see Colby get his first college touchdown. He's going to have a bunch of them before he's done here. Uh, you know, good job by Hunter getting the ball off. You see the left guard there steps on his foot a little bit, so he kind of took a risk with the ball. I don't really want to see him do that. But uh, good job uh, blocking a little penetration there by Gabe Wilson as well to give us the first score of the game and uh, put us back in at 14-6. to six. Yeah, so it's 14-6. to six. Uh, UMHB would add in a couple field goals before halftime. Flash forward to the third quarter, UMHB with a real opportunity to kind of put some separation between the two teams. Big goal line stand on fourth and goal from the Blazers. Yeah, really well done by our defense. As you said, uh, Mary Harden Baylor could have separated the game here, sitting at 23 to six. And then uh, Connor Fordham comes in there and uh, does a great job just reading the play behind the nose. Fits off the nose, holding that center off and made a great play, actually knocked the ball loose. and. Uh, he did a great job all night, probably had the best game he's played for us, uh, filling in there at linebacker a good bit. So the Blazers would be trailing 23-6 to at this point. Some other great plays out there. This one, forced fumble T.J. Hersey, one of four forced fumbles on the night, two recovered. Yeah, defense played really strong all night. You know, a little shaky there early in the game, but then they settled down and did a good job. T.J., you know, a freshman corner who's going to have a terrific career here. Uh, you know, guy catches the ball, but he doesn't give up on it, knocks the ball loose, and then Connor Fordham again is there to scoop it up and take it down the sideline for a nice game. Uh, we did get a celebration penalty there, um, which I'm okay with on that one. You make a big play and that's genuine enthusiasm, of course, of course the game will take it, you know, as long as we're not doing something stupid like spiking a ball or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, you know, I don't know that you really flag natural enthusiasm, but I'll take it against these guys any day because guys were playing hard and they were, they're really into it. Now, a little bit later in the third quarter, the Blazers trying to put together a little bit of a drive. The passing attack got going a little bit here. Nice little dish to uh, LaMarcus Carradine who got around the corner. Yep, Marcus ran a good route, got around the corner, just gets a shoestring tackle there. He may take that to the house. What I really like on that play is Gabe Wilson out there in space, just finding a block after he sees the ball caught, just trying to help him uh, find a few extra yards there. So um, it's good team play right there by Gabe. Now the defense would make a couple more stands here later in the game, a couple of sacks uh, later in the fourth quarter right here. Um, you've got Chris Cobb and uh, yeah, Carlton, Carlton Brown. Brown. Yeah. yeah, with a nice, nice sack, getting some pressure. Uh, freshman get some penetration. Yeah, two two freshmen getting in there and making a sack against the number one team in the country. And you know, it seems like every time we have a clip, I talk to about different freshmen. So we're playing a lot of young guys, and they're playing hard, and they're excited. And uh, you know, they don't know yet that they're not supposed to go out there against those guys and play hard. So we're excited about that, and they need to keep it up. Now another big play, another sack. This one coming from Isaiah Blackman. You said uh, when we were talking before the show that this is a play they were really running a lot on y'all, getting some yardage on. Nice read right here by Isaiah Blackman. Yeah, they ran the zone read on us a good bit. Quarterback made some yards all night, and then uh, you know we weren't playing you know assignment football as well as we should on defense. And Isaiah read that one right and, and made a big hit and uh, allowed us to keep them scoreless in the second half. And our defense really stepped up big in the second half. I think it's been probably four or five years as I went back through the record since anybody shut these guys out in a, in a half of football. So really proud of what our defense. I was able to do there in the second half. Now the Blazers would add on in the fourth quarter, close the gap just a little bit. Got set up right here, nice little screen pass, uh, misdirection screen pass to Tyrus Black for a big game. Yeah, big game here by Tyrus. He's been a great addition for us, uh, transfer senior who came in here. Uh, what I really like though is, is more freshmen out in front of him blocking. You know, Zay Stevens, freshman from Horn Lake there, is way out in front trying to get a few extra yards out of it for, for Tyrus and uh, that set up a nice drive for us. Yeah, I mean, just a couple plays later, touchdown pass. This one again to Tyrus Black. He's off to a good start this season. He really is. He's, he's a unique athlete, and he's still learning the position. He's always played receiver his whole life, and he's got a big, thick body, and he can be physical. So tight end's a good natural position for him. But uh, nice to see him finish that drive off with a touchdown. Uh, as the final score of the night, you know, made it 23-13 to 13 to end the day. Uh, you know, we're never going to be happy with a 10-point loss. There's no doubt about that. And that was the big message 
post game is where the, the, nobody's going to be happy. There are no moral victories, but we can be very proud of the effort we had uh, against a team the caliber of Mary Harden Baylor. That's for sure. So yeah, on the road against Mary Harden Baylor, 23-13, the final score. Uh, I just want to talk about it real quick. We've talked about it. You know, it seems like a common theme, and that's freshmen. You know, stepping up in big opportunities. What did you see from freshmen just across the board? Obviously, one of the biggest games they've probably played. You know, in their their careers. Uh, what did you see? You know, from freshmen against Mary Harden Baylor. Well, kind of like I mentioned a minute ago, I don't think that they know that they're not supposed to go in there and play hard. You know, I think a lot of people look at Mary Harden Baylor and honestly Harden Simmons too in our conference and think you just kind of show up, let them do their thing and then get to the next week. I think a lot of people have a mindset in our conference that everybody just plays for third. Well, we're not going to operate like that. You know, we're mm -hmm. going to, we don't care who we're playing, we're going to play to win. We're going to go out there and play hard. And those freshmen haven't learned that mindset yet. And we're not going to let them learn that mindset. Uh, we're going to teach them that every, every week you show up and you compete to the best of your ability. You do what you're coached to do and you do it to the best of your ability. And uh, let it iron out how it will. And then those kids really played hard, and I was really proud of them. I want to talk real quick about Lewis James. Uh, had to take on a little bit of a bigger role this weekend. Um, was really kind of the primary option for Hunter McEacher uh, as a receiver. Big day, five receptions for over 100 yards. What was that kind of like, just seeing him step up and, and take control there? Yeah, I'm really proud of Lewis. You know, uh, Joey was out this week with an injury. Should be back, should be fine, nothing big. But Lewis did have a little bit bigger role, and, and he took advantage of it. You know, he had the one fumble earlier, and he didn't let it get him down. You know, he mm -hmm. came back and made a few plays after that. And, you know, when he came off, when he made the play on the scramble that we saw a minute ago, he had a big smile on his face. and. You know, knew he, he kind of made a play to help the team. So really proud of him. He's been a guy that's kind of been a journeyman here for a long time mm -hmm. and worked really hard this summer, worked as hard as anybody this summer to have his body ready to go. So uh, really excited about what Lewis did for us. Last little thing I want to touch on, just the defensive play. We talked about it last week after Louisiana College. The defense really has stepped up in some big moments. They did it again this week against Mary Harden Baylor. What has been the, what has been the big step forward the defense seems to have been taking this year, uh, really limiting the, the offense production of other teams? Well, they're the same system for the second year in a row. We do have a new defensive coordinator, but he was able to come in and adapt to what we're doing instead of you know, wholesale change into mm -hmm. something he wanted to do, which was really took a lot of, of wisdom and swallowing your pride on his part to recognize it's easier for one guy to learn than 30. So yep. he adapted to what we were doing. And so the kids have confidence, confidence in it and they play hard and they believe in what we're doing. And uh, we keep it simple and let them play hard and fast. And it's, it's worked for us. Now, continuing uh, ASC play this weekend, uh, we talked a lot about building that winning mentality. That's the big goal here right now is building a winning mentality. What's kind of your message to a team after they've put up, you know, they haven't played poorly necessarily, but obviously the results aren't there in the win column. What's your message to the team to continue building that mentality, continue building that confidence? Well, one thing we talked about all last week was just stay the course, you know, just stay the course. And that means just believing in what we're doing, believing in each other, believing in our system and our philosophies and good things are going to happen. And, and we have made marked improvement. Uh, that, that's no question about that, but we definitely want that scoreboard to flip um, mm -hmm. for sure. So that's what we're going to keep encouraging them to do and is just keep growing, stay together. You know, the, their ability to encourage each other and stay up on the sideline the last couple weeks has been phenomenal, as good as I've ever seen anywhere. Um, and if we can keep doing that, there's no doubt that the, the wins are going to come. Now, like I said, back in action, ASC action this week, they're hosting McMurray. Uh, just kind of talk us through what you've seen from that team, what, what we're going to have to see from Bell Haven to pick up that win at home. Well, McMurray is a team that we've never beaten in the history of the series. You know, they were, they've, they're undefeated against us. You know, they haven't won a game this year, uh, neither have we. So we're both going to be showing up to get that first win. Mm -hmm. uh, they are talented. They've got a new coach, uh, Jordan Neal, that came in this year, and he's created a lot of energy, a lot of buzz. Uh, they're probably very similar to we, where we've been the last couple of years. Um, so it should be an interesting game. They've got some talented kids. They've got a little receiver out there, Ariel Dorsey, number one, who's really, really talented and a great kick returner. Um, then they, they do a lot of different things on defense that can cause them some confusion. So we've got to uh, play simple, play smart, play within ourselves, and uh, have the same energy we've had the last couple of weeks, and hopefully it'll work out for us. So once again, Blazers in action this week in Bellhaven Bowl Stadium. They're taking on McMurray University. Make sure to come out and support the Blazers. We've been joined by head coach Blaine McCorkle. Thanks for joining us. You bet. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to Blazers Inside Access. I want to thank all the coaches who took the time to sit down with us today and talk a little bit of sports. I wanted to give a shout out to the Seaspire Athlete of the Week, Lex Rogers of the Bellhaven men's soccer team. He picked up the award after his 90th minute winner against Pensacola Christian. 
a couple of weeks ago. I want to thank real quick the Bellhaven Film Department and Richard Negron for helping produce uh, this episode of Blazers Inside Access. As we look ahead at the Blazers schedule, the volleyball team will be in action tomorrow. They're in Columbus, Mississippi to take on Mississippi University for women in a non-conference match. Then they'll head out west to Texas, Marshall, Texas, where they'll participate in the ASC crossover, four matches across this weekend for the Blazers volleyball team. Both soccer teams will be in action this week. First, they're taking on McMurray University in Abilene. That's on Thursday, both men and women's soccer. And then Saturday, they'll take on Hardin-Simmons. A couple of ASC matches on the road for both soccer teams. The week will be capped off here with a home, uh, home game, though, for the Bellhaven uh, football team as they host McMurray University. 1 p.m. kickoff. They're looking to pick up a conference win. Once again, this has been Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kenneth Nash. Thanks for joining.